Okay, Ben, this is for you. It's called, My Garden Ain't All That. Okay, so I'm standing in the kitchen at this point. So I'm going to go out, and I hope I don't trip over anyone because Tula's here and Nita's here. So I'm walking out. Very sunny. Okay. So this is um, a little walkway we started doing this year, and then Stephen took it all out because the steps were too high for Rico. And here's the pond, and here is the look off into the distance. And I will show you the temple, the Buddhist thing, in a minute. So here's the peach tree, roses, a swing, and kitchen window, partially the bedroom window, but that's covered up by the beautiful apple tree, even though the apples suck. So now we're going to go down. There's another bench down here. A hammock that I never use, and off in the distance, I don't know if you can even see it, behind the trees is the golden tip of the Buddhist thingy. So this is the extension we did of our backyard. We spent a lot of money to extend everything by 10 feet because our property goes down to the arroyo. Here's Nita. So I'm walking this way. It's all pretty messy. Um, we have a little bit of an enclosure back here that we put in when Nita was a puppy because she was digging up everything, but now it hardly ever gets used, but there's beautiful grass in there which Stephen cuts and throws over here, and then Nita loves to lie there. These are windows that we put in for the dogs to see the arroyo. So here we go. Our property ends almost down by that big green tree, but it's pretty much unusable because it's so steep. So see, this is the window in there. Kind of like a, anyway, doodad and then a lower one for the dogs. My hollyhocks. The other apple tree that's pretty, but the apples suck. And my one tomato plant that I left. View of the pond from the back. But if you see, there's, there's weeds everywhere. And here's that stupid bindweed coming out between the stones. And the bindweed is everywhere on the ground. Now, it's not looking too bad because Stephen spent like two hours this weekend pulling it up. Here's the bindweed. I don't know if you can tell the difference. This is the bindweed coming out of my lemon balm. If you could smell this. Oh, it's awesome. Okay, so, see, my garden ain't all that. It's pretty messy. There's catnip under the tree. This is a datura, which will bloom tonight. Here's a, um, oops, I shouldn't do that, I guess. It's a honey hummingbird vine, ginkgo tree, big mess over here. Oh, here you go. Here's the bindweed in the lilac. All the way up. It just winds itself around everything. It's just disgusting. Okay, so now we're going back towards the backyard, uh, back porch. Little rose bush, pond. Oh, my two hummingbird feeders on the shepherd's hooks. Three more over here because we have so many birds, and there's one now. Hi, Yummy. Oh, there's two now. Here's the pond again. Here are my fishies. My fishies are tiny compared to yours. See? And here's a big, big water lettuce there. I don't know if they bloom. There's the water hyacinth blooming. There's my tiny waterfall. So, see, this is pretty much my garden, but it ain't all that, because it's really messy. We haven't finished this part. Ah, messy, messy. Oh, let me walk this way. Down the stairs by the hammock. Oh, this is a Virginia creeper that, instead of growing up, became a ground cover this year. It's in the peach tree a little bit. Cherry tree, um, butterfly bush. Now we're going back here. This is my little area for Lucy, even though Lucy is not here. But uh, just have a kitty that looks like Lucy sleeping there and just rocks that I collect every time we hike. And here's that awesome 
apple tree with the most disgusting tasting apples and this is our bedroom window which is wonderful because it's very private and this is the Tula television actually it's empty I need to fill it up Tula sits in the house and watches the birds eat here so this is the view from behind the swing it's nice and green here but the garden is definitely a mess okay going back now there's a little downgrade here there we go I have all these rocks laying here I wanted to do some kind of Zen thing or Japanese garden looking thing but I've been unmotivated oh anyway lots of cosmos so here's a step that Stephen hasn't fixed that's too tall for Rico to get up and then here's the step he fixed and the other one so Rico could walk without falling and my hummingbird feeders again and again and there's a hummy <gasps> there's two hummy I love them never get tired of watching them and at night we usually have about 10 to 15 they are noisy oops man I just got dive bombed so this is the look towards the house oh Ben my dear this is the sweet potato vine I was telling you about so if you see I've got the dark ones you have but look at that color when you buy that sweet potato vine and I always plant it with um, impatience and this is a little oasis back here lots of impatience it's what we can see when we sit at the dining room table and eat so here we go back in the house which is a total mess because I'm working on the cranes my beads so this is see this is what we see from the dining room my beautiful African violets my messy table and 30 cranes finished woohoo 70 to go ah, my birthday flowers from my sister-in-law and more flowers at look who's on the couch Rico can you say hi Uncle Ben hi Uncle Ben my gladiolus that I got for my cleaning lady and my glass balls and this one up here that is a witch's ball if you could see inside it's got those things this one is very interesting it's got one of those things in there that turn with light not sure what it's called oh and then this glass up here this is glass that's glass and my kitchen all the glass up there. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of bright in here. And there's Nita having a snack. Hi Nita, say hi Uncle Ben. Okay Ben, oh wait, I'll show you two more glass balls and then I'll conclude this. There's another beautiful glass ball. And there's another glass ball. These two are from the glass floor at um, Jackalope. So. Nita, Nita, where's your sister Tula? There she is. Tula, can you say hi to Uncle Ben? Say hi, Uncle Ben. Hi, Uncle Ben. Hi. She said hi. See, she's a good kitty. Okay, Ben, that's my garden for you. It's pretty messy, but there it is. Bye.